there in the carpet, sir. That's perfect. One more time. It's an honor to you, sir. Thank you very much, Robert. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thanks for choosing us. Thank you. A lot of people here just for you guys. Nice little car. I'll rise, please. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. On behalf of George and Becky, I welcome you all here today to share a most important moment in their life. In the time they've been together, their love and their understanding of each other has grown and matured. Now they decided to live their lives together as husband and wife. Who gives us bride in marriage? I do. Okay, sir. You want to give your daughter a hug before she goes? And you wanted to hand your flowers over to your mom to hold. That'd be great. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You can be seated now. <laughs> well, we gather here today to celebrate the joyful union of this man, George, and this woman, Becky, in marriage. We're here to celebrate and share in the glorious act that's about to happen. And that's the act where we take their love for one another and convert it to the sacred estate of marriage. Not only is this a union of one couple or two people, it's a union of two families. And these two families will share the joy that these two bring to them for the end of their life. Becky and George bring with them the dreams which drew them together. And they bring the fullness of their hearts as a treasure to be shared. They bring with them the ability to view the world themselves and each other in their own uniqueness. We've been invited to hear them both as they promise to face the future together, accepting whatever may lie ahead. For the world that's been created for them, with the beauty and the grace that is all around, 
the peace that it offers, and the strength that it gives, I'm sure makes them both truly grateful. Now we're honored that you have invited us to witness the happiness that you have found in each other and the pledges which you'll commit to each other in love. Together, you both will discover the depths of life. No matter if you're happy or sad, whether you're hopeful or discouraged, or whether you're near together or far apart, may you always be there for one another. Now today, you both receive a gift. And that gift, that's the life and the love of the other. You receive this gift not only from the one you love, but also from your parents who brought you into this world and reared you. Also from all the personal worlds of your family and friends who are joined in friendship and faith in your marriage. A marriage ceremony represents one of life's greatest commitments, but it's also a declaration of love. Marriage, that's a big step. It's a pact, it's a promise to always be faithful, kind, and supportive no matter what the situation. It's therefore a decision which is not taken lightly, but rather undertaken with great consideration, reverence, and respect for ourselves and each other. It can only work if both partners promise to protect one another, always listen, and love each other in an unconditional manner. You know, marriage deepens and enriches every facet of your life. Your happiness is fuller, your memories are fresher, and your commitment is stronger. You know, even anger is felt more strongly, but you know what? It goes away more quickly as well. <laughs> marriage understands and forgives the mistakes that life is just unable to avoid. Now, Becky, George, you know nothing is easier than saying words, right? right? But you know nothing is harder than living by these words, day after day for the rest of your life. Real love is something beyond that warmth, that glow, that excitement, and the romance in dealing with love. Real love is looking out for the welfare and happiness of your marriage partner as well as yourself. But real love is not total absorption in each other, though. Real love is looking outward in the same direction together. Love will be the source of the strength in your marriage. Love makes burdens lighter because you're going to divide these burdens. Love makes joys more intense because you're going to be sharing these joys together. Love makes you stronger so you can reach out and become involved in life in many ways you would ever dare risk alone. I'd like to read a short passage of 1 Corinthians chapter 13. It's about love. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy. It does not boast. Love is not proud, nor is it rude. Love is not self-seeking or easily angered. Love keeps no records of wrongs, but certainly rejoices in the right. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. Love always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails. Out of faith, hope, and love, abide these three. The greatest of these is love. Now that you're facing each other and holding each other's hands, I want you to see the gift that your hands are to you and how they'll be working your whole life together. These are the hands of your best friend, strong and full of love for you that are holding yours in your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as you build your future together, and the hands that will hold you when fear or grief temporarily comes your way. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years, and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you tight as you struggle through the difficult times of life. They'll give you strength when you need it, and will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes. Tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will lift your chin and brush your cheek as they raise your face to look into the eyes that are filled with overwhelming love for you. And lastly, these are the same hands that even when wrinkled and aged, they'll still be reaching for yours. They'll still give that same unspoken tenderness with merely a touch. Got some great hands there, don't you? <laughs> you bet Thank you we both did. <laughs> Now, a wedding is more than a celebration of the love that lives in your hearts today. It reaches into the future and proclaims your intentions for what tomorrow shall hold for you both. A couple who are wed are joined not only by the mutual affection and the love that they share, but also by their hopes, their dreams, and their promises of That's what right. will be. The promises and vows you're making today will guide you into your common future. Next, I'm going to ask you both if you're prepared to make these promises. Now, George, 
do you take Becky to be your wife, to love her, to cherish her, and to continually bestow upon her your heart's deepest devotion? I do. And Becky, do you take George to be your husband, to love him, to cherish him, and to continually bestow upon him your heart's deepest devotion? I do. The vows you're about to exchange will serve as a verbal representation of the love that you pledge to one another. George, I'm going to pick on you first. All right. Okay? <laughs> While gazing into your bride's beautiful eyes, repeat these words. I, George, take you, Rebecca. I, George, take you, Rebecca. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In sadness and in joy. And in sadness and in joy. To share our lives together. To share our lives together. From this day forward. From this day forward. Know that your pain will be mine. Know that your pain will be mine. And your joy mine as well. And your joy mine as well. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. <coughs> You ready? Okay, while well, gazing into your groom's eyes, repeat these words. I, Rebecca, take you, George. I, Rebecca, take you, George. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In sadness and in joy. In sadness and in joy. To share our lives together share our lives together from this day forward from this day forward know that your pain will be mine know that your pain will be mine and your joy mine as well and your joy mine as well i will love you and honor you i will love you and honor you all the days of my life all the days of my life this is my solemn vow this is my solemn vow okay we have rings you have a ring mm -hmm. <coughs> Let us pray. Bless, O Lord, the giving of these rings, that they who wear them shall abide in thy peace and continue in thy favor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Now, a circle is the symbol of the sun, the earth, the universe, of wholeness, perfection, of peace, and of unity. Like circles, your rings, they have no beginning and no ending. That symbolizes eternity. Love freely given has no beginning or no ending. These rings are the emblem of the love between you, and they characterize your devotion to one another. As your rings are made of a precious metal symbolizing purity, may your marriage also have purity. Let them always remind you of the commitments that you're making today, and may you both always be as happy together as you are at this very moment. Okay. George, I'll place in this ring on Becky's left hand. Repeat after me. <coughs> Rebecca, this ring I give you. Rebecca, this ring I give you. My personal gift. My personal gift. And my personal promise. And my personal promise. Of love and trust. Of love and trust. And pride that and you are my wife. And pride that you are my wife. We will wear these rings. We will wear these rings. And the world will know. And the world will know. That I am yours. That I am yours. And you are mine. And you are mine. With this ring. With this ring. I be wed. I'll place in this ring on George's left hand. Repeat after me. George, this ring I give you. George, this ring I give you. My personal gift. My personal gift. And my personal promise. And my personal promise. Of love and trust. Of love and trust. And pride that you are my husband. And pride that you are my husband. We will wear these rings. We will wear these rings. And the world will know. And the world will know. That I am yours. That I am yours. And you are mine. And you are mine. With this <laughs> ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. Now, don't let these rings serve as locks binding you together. Instead, consider these rings as keys. And these keys will unlock the secrets of your hearts for each other to know, keeping you close together forever. Perfect. Now, just as there will never be a morning without the ocean flow, 
Let there never be a day without your love for one another. You've pledged yourselves to each other today. Your love would need to be as unchanging and dependable as the tide. As these waters nourish the earth and sustain life, may your constant devotion nourish and sustain you both until the very end of time. Today, you marry your best friend, the one you will live with, dream with, and love. You've taken each other as husband and wife. From this day forward, cherish each other and look with joy down the path of your tomorrows, knowing you'll be walking together side by side, hand in hand, and heart to heart. Now, Becky and George, before you go forth as husband and wife, and before we leave this beautiful setting, I'd like to ask you both to do one more thing for me. On a day like today, where there's so much excitement and so much emotion, with all the details and the months of planning your wedding, inviting your family, your closest friends, and you know, you want them all here on your special day, and they're sharing this emotion with you right now as well. I don't want the most important part of this to go fleeting. When you wake up tomorrow, this will all be over. All the planning you've done, it's all gonna be behind you. But right now, while you're standing here in front of each other, I just want you to look into each other's eyes. I want you to take this moment in. I want you to feel this moment, the excitement that you have right now, from your head down to your toe, and let it consume you. Now imagine 10 years go by. Will you still be able to feel the excitement of this moment? Will you still remember? Is with Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Yes. It's with that. I also think you will, and it's with that confidence and having witnessed the vows that Becky and George have made to each other, surrounded by their friends, their family, and have pledged their love and loyalty to each other, and declared the same by the joining and giving of rings. I therefore, by the authority vested in me of the Commonwealth of Virginia, mm -hmm. pronounce you our husband and wife. Yay. George, you know what time it is, right? That's right. <laughs> okay. okay. Can we get your flowers back? Yeah. And face your guest. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. George Lawson. Congratulations. Thank you. That does conclude the ceremony. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's my